Just hold it. Hold it. Okay, now let's hold it tight. Let's hold it tight. Okay, let it go. I'll come with you, Ravonzo. Okay, hold it. Yep, yeah, just hold it. Just hold it. Just hold it. So we've got 14 giraffe that are going to be driving past us. Absolutely amazing to, to be a part of this sort of project and see this, these giraffe start their journey from private land to communal conservancy land is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it's always exciting, especially these sort of projects where it's a real worthwhile transportation. Yeah. There are too many giraffe on some of the farms. They fenced in, so it's enclosed areas that can only take so many animals. Yeah. And the end they overutilize some of the trees, even though there's lots of vegetation here, lots of trees. Um, from a management point of view, the giraffe have to be reduced in numbers. Yeah. And it's great to take them back to areas that used to have lots of giraffe and that can yeah. accommodate more. In about two minutes time, we are gonna have 14 giraffe drive past us in a massive truck on their way to their new home, the Doranaus Conservancy, where they are going to help and aid the current giraffe population there, all in the name of giraffe conservation, not only in Namibia, not only in Africa, but around the world. This story that we are talking about right now, that we are witnessing, that we are a part of, is something phenomenal. And here is the moment, everyone the day that the giraffe find their new home in the Doranau Conservancy. All 14 of them on their way to their new home. Open. There goes the first one. Three, four. Look at that, absolutely stunning. What a beautiful sight. Two, four, six, seven of them running. We still have two. Another seven in the truck that needs to come out. Yeah, there's some movement in the truck now and here comes the next lot. There's the big boy, two boys. Look where we are, we, we have Brunberg in the background. Um, the biggest mountain in Namibia. We've just helped augment, repopulate in a million acres of Doranawas Conservancy. Really cool, and I mean, they, they're gonna be troopers for, for the population out here, and it's, it's just absolutely fantastic to see. Absolutely, and it was so great also to have a couple of the Conservancy guys here, has on the, the chairman of the Conservancy, and see their smiles. I yeah. mean, was, uh, he brought his wife. This is what it's, conservation is all about. I mean, you guys partner with a whole bunch of people, but to have community buy-in is, is really important. Absolutely. Um, and it's obviously the hard work you guys put in with, with to, to get that all in place. I mean, we've been working in northwest Namibia since the late 90s. So to keep working in such an amazing landscape, bring giraffe back where they were historically went missing. Um, I mean, what better feeling can you have? And, you know, working with, as you say, amazing partners. That's what it's about. I'm here with um, Gerson, who's the chairperson of the Doranaus Conservancy, um, a community member here in the area. Gerson, welcome. Thank you. Um, and it's, it's an absolute privilege to have you here. Um, you're one of our uh, joint venture partners here in Doranaus Conservancy. We're in the process of, of setting up a camp. What did you think about this afternoon, the giraffe being released here on your conservancy? No, I'm very happy about that. 
Yeah. Yeah, he's very happy about that. So because that harass we also us to join us conservancy committee members, so I'm very happy about that. Yeah, I mean we we've we've had a really good working relationship so far. And you know, you coming together with the conservancy, getting their, their permission to put for us to be a part of this is really, really something amazing. So I'd like to to thank you for that. Because guys, on Doranaus conservancy involvement is this is very, very important, not only to us but to you, to the community, to the Ministry of Environment, Forestry and Tourism, and of course, Giraffe Conservation Foundation. So, we've just released 14 giraffe here, Kassel. It's 14, I found it. Yeah, 12 females and, and two males, you know, so at least then we, we're hoping that the population will grow. I think the same, yeah, he, really I believe he must, he must grow it. And when it grow, we can look behind him and our game customers stand up and uh, work in this area, look behind the crabs, and we can try to do our best to keep them safe. Yeah, so you, you bring up something very important there. It is now up to you as the Conservancy and us as your joint venture partner. We are going to be monitoring and looking after these giraffe, you know, as a partnership. And it's really, really good to hear you say that you're going to put your game guards on the on the back of the giraffe to make sure they yeah, yeah. They, they survive. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, Kheson, maybe you can just tell me why is conservation important to the conservancy and to the community here? Oh, very important because we are belongs from the profit income from the conservancy and all the things is very important for us because our benefits is coming from, from that. Yeah. yeah. So obviously we're all going through a tough time now with, with the coronavirus um, and there being no tourism. So obviously that's going to be really hard on you guys. Yeah. But obviously we're all staying positive that it's going to bounce back. So I'm happy about that. So because when the tourists come in and the uh, lot is having the customers, so we can make a business. The conservancy can get something from that and then the community must have a benefit and we can feed the, our community people for the benefit what we give it to cake, what what you having from the from the lodges. Yeah, so you, you mentioned something very important there is that you know all the income that you get from these lodges benefit the local community. Yes. And that is very important because if they benefit from conservation, they in turn will look after wildlife. That's why I'm very serious about these the giraffes look behind them. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we on two of the giraffe we've got a little satellite collar. Mm -hmm. So we'll be able to monitor them and see where they move, where they go and drink at night. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be something very interesting to see. And then when we bring tourists back to this beautiful area, we can then go show them the Doronaus Conservancy Giraffe and talk about this amazing project that we've just been a part of. Correct. Yeah, Doronaus is a beautiful area. Very, very, very beautiful, beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> come and see what's going on here. It's very beautiful. Nice yeah. area. You guys do have a stunning area. Kherson, thank you for your, your kind words.